conference motion then as possible? Well, we're going to look at all of the options to see how we can move forward Canada taking a strong position on the climate change crisis. It's very unfortunate and incomprehensible to me why the Liberals who voted for this exact same bill on June 4, 2008 uh, would be now saying that, uh, that they can't support it going forward. I think that's uh, very unfortunate because it leaves Mr. Harper now with the tacit support of Mr. Ignatieff to go off to, uh, to Copenhagen and say we have nothing except the agenda of the big oil companies. Is that a government you can support? Can you continue to support a government well, uh, that goes to Copenhagen without a consent? You know what troubles me about this is that uh, neither of the leaders of the uh, Conservatives or Liberals seem to understand the urgency of the crisis that's in front of us. And uh, that, I think, should trouble all Canadians. Some of the scientists yesterday were saying that MPs in this house are confused uh, about the science, are being confused by what they see in the media from skeptics. Do you think that is actually what's going on? Well, there's a whirlwind of information, but I think when that happens, what we need to do is focus in on the most credible scientists that we have access to here in Canada. And they're saying that our bill on climate change and its targets should be adopted now as an urgent matter. And that testimony was given to the committee. I don't know why the Liberal leader won't listen to the best scientists in Canada who are saying we need to take action now. It's very unfortunate for deciding to start our progress. The NDP have always prided themselves or often talked about themselves as the social conscience of Canada. Today, Mike McNatty have declared the Liberal Party is the conscience of Canada. What do you make of that? Well, if his first act to demonstrate uh, this new role as a conscience is to side with Mr. Harper to block strong action on climate change before the biggest world conference on the most serious global crisis we face, uh, I don't think he's got much credibility there. You want to swap? Uh, you can be the national governing party yeah. now? Well, you know, uh, what uh, Tommy Douglas always said was that uh, someone with a conscience is going to try to actually take principled positions and, and put them into place through, uh, through legislation. That's what we're trying to do with our climate change bill. And it's been adopted, it's been voted countless times by two parliaments in a row. Uh, there have been pages and pages and hours and hours of testimony. You know, you'd think that if you're at the edge of a cliff uh, and everyone's saying that there's a real risk to going over uh, that cliff, that you would take urgent action. That's what the scientists are telling us we have to do with the climate change crisis. And yet uh, Mr. Ignatieff seems to side with Mr. Harper and saying we don't need to act now. We can. Uh, uh, twiddle our thumbs. We can hear more witnesses who will tell us that we should be actually taking action rather than hearing more witnesses.